So last week we went on our baby moon and I thought I would just show you some of the stuff that I picked up at the airport and one thing while I was there but most of it's just like duty free stuff. So I'll get started. On the way I got a few bits in accessorise. So the first thing, because I didn't really have any bikinis, like well I didn't have any maternity ones, couldn't find any in time before I went and um, I don't know, I just think it's nice to get a new bikini every time you go away. So this isn't maternity, it's just from accessorise. Oh, I thought it was really nice. So it's like a scalloped edge one, corally colour, and then it's like, whatever effect that is. Um, the bottoms I got in a size 6, because it was either a 6 or a 12, and I knew the 12, because I haven't really put on any weight on my bum, even though I have around my belly. But yeah, the 6 was fine. And then for the top half, because they were sold separately, what size? I got a 12, because I've got fake boobs, and they're pretty big. Um, so it's just a bandeau one like this, with the scalloped edges, it has got a little bow bit that goes round and ties in the front like this and then it's just got ties around the back oh it's actually upside down and the little hold to neck bit just like this so I thought that was really nice um, I also picked up this black hat I won't put it on because I've got my hair up in a ponytail uh, but just like a straw hat kind of thing with the little holes in nice floppy hat and that was good because I thought if it was too hot, I didn't want to get sunstroke, especially being pregnant. So it wasn't too hot, but um, yeah, this came in handy and it looked quite stylish. I also picked up two pairs of sunglasses. So this shape, I don't really know the shapes of what they're called, but um, with like the blue tinted bits. And these are really good because they've got the UVA protection, but they were like £10, so it's good. And then these ones as well. And then lastly from Accessorise, I picked up this necklace, which just looks like this. So just a nice chunky statement one. I really, really liked that. And it's got the kind of stiff neckline instead of a chain. So I got those. I also got a cleanser and polish from Lizelle. I was just going to get a sample size one, but she was like, well, you can still fly with the big one because it's only 100 mil. Um, yeah, 100 mil. so I got that with a cloth, because I'd run out of this one and got the limited edition one, and even though it does the same thing, it doesn't smell the same, so I think psychologically I just don't feel like it's as good, so yeah, I just went back to the original. And then, when I was on the aeroplane, I got an Elizabeth Arden set of three, although Jasper has wandered off with the third piece, so I got the 8 hour cream intensive moisturising hand treatment. I'd heard really, really good things about this, so I really, really wanted to try it. And also the 8 Hour Cream Skin Protectant. It's the original one, so this is to go on your face. I wouldn't recommend putting it all over your face because it's really sticky, but when I kind of looked into it, it's more for keeping your eyebrows at bay, if you've got dry around your nose, it's good for your lips, anything like that. So it is good, just not for all over your face. And also a lip balm, but yeah, Jasper's gone off with that. And then while I was away, I had a really, really nice massage in the spa of the hotel and they used St. Bart's Visage, Visage products. So I got this, which is a cream mask with green clay and pineapple for oily skin. Even though my skin's not oily, I didn't even read that. Um, and it was 70 euros. I didn't realise because we just put it on the room. But it's really nice and I think it's good to spend a little bit more on your skincare. And then on the way home, I only got two bits. The first thing is the, I can never say it, Touche Claire um, by YSL which is the kind of like highlighting, radiating, concealing thing. It's a limited edition one, it's just got spots on it, um, but it's the same price as normal. And then lastly, I got this mango dress. So it's kind of like a gypsy style, like cheesecloth material with a nice navy detail. And I love it, it looks really nice on. I wore it with leggings to an event on Tuesday and yeah. So that is it, that is everything that I bought. Um, I'm kind of saying it quickly because I can see I'm on zero minutes left and zero battery. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know prices or anything, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.